This is the kind of things you do when you spend too much time in the basement. You, you come up with Frankenblower. Welcome back everybody, my name is Andrew and this is another exciting edition of Kite Army Lab. So today we're going to talk about something that's going to blow your mind. Batteries. That's right. Batteries are mind-blowing because they kind of power our life. They power our cell phones, our laptops, our yard tools, you know I love that, and even our cars. But there's a lot of information about batteries that is confusing and a lot of people don't understand it so when they go shopping for a yard tool they might not be buying the best tool for them so our job today is try to translate those numbers and help you understand what that means in a very simple way you know like e equals mc squared no not that kind of way just very simple and then of course since this is a kite army video we're going to take all that information we learned take it outside Put on one of our blowers and see how that information translates into powering that tool. Really fun stuff. Let's get into it. For those of you who've been with me for a while, you know that I've reviewed a ton of different cordless yard tools. Often I get a chance to take a look at Ryobi. And that's not because I think Ryobi is the best, but they really are an attractive tool or platform for one reason, and that's price. Now this brings me back to my conversation of what we're here to do today is look at batteries. There is no standard for any of these companies to measure the amount of power in their batteries. So I'm gonna guess that sometimes they exaggerate those numbers. And that's why we're gonna real test later in this video. So let me tell you about the numbers we're talking about today. One is voltage and one is amp hours. Now you're gonna see those numbers on any battery you look at. So you're also gonna see those numbers on the box. Here's the lithium plus 18 volt, four amp hour is included with this blower. So although we're only talking about these two factors today, voltage and amp hours, there are other things that affect the performance of a battery. We're gonna kind of ignore them today, but I wanna tell you what they are just in case. So let's dive into the science of these numbers right here. This is really, if you boil these numbers down, what they mean, okay? You've got V, or your voltage, equals power. The other number we're talking about, AH, which stands for amp hours, is basically the runtime that these batteries will give your tool. Now let's talk about this a little bit. So basically, if your voltage is higher, in theory, you should have more power in your tool. If your amp hours is greater, you should have more runtime. That's kind of easy to wrap your head around, right? Now, it does get a little complicated, and that complication comes into play when you talk about amp hours. Most of our tools draw larger than, let's say, 1.5 amps, which some of these batteries are rated at. This little guy right here. He's a 18 volt Ryobi 1 plus 1.5 amp hour battery. In theory, that means this battery can provide 1.5 amps for a period of an hour. Now, a lot of our tools draw more than 1.5 amps, mean they require more battery power than that. Anyway, what I've got here is I've got a blower connected to a 18 volt, 1.5 amp hour Ryobi battery. The reason why I have it rigged this way is so that I can measure the amount of amps my blower is drawing from my battery. And you can see, once we know the amps that it's drawing, we should be able to figure out what the runtime of this blower is with this battery. Come in close and I'll show you how the amp meter works. This amp meter is inductive, which means it doesn't actually need to be connected to the circuit to measure the amount of amps my blower is drawing. What you'll see here, as I turn on my blower, my amps increase. The faster that blower goes, the more amps I draw. So you can see this blower topped out at about 12.5 amps. So we can figure out how much runtime this battery should be able to provide then. All right guys, trust me, it is worth hanging in there. We're almost at the end of this. So let me give you a summary. This battery right here, which is a Ryobi One Plus, it's an 18 volt battery and it's rated at 1.5 amp hours. It says 1.5 amp hours on the battery. Now what that means is, if this blower was to draw 1.5 amps 
from this battery, it would run the blower for 60 minutes. Now we just saw that doesn't happen because when you run full power, you draw 12 amps, but let's keep on working down. Let's say you increase the speed of the blower a little bit and you draw three amps, well, you've got 30 minutes. If you go even faster, you go six amps, you've got 15 minutes. And where the blower maxed out was right around 12.5 amps. Let's call it 12 amps. So if you're drawing 12 amps, you can run this blower with this battery for seven minutes. That is according to the math. Now we're gonna do some real world testing and see in fact if this brand new Ryobi battery, 1.5 amp hour battery at full speed can run this blower for seven minutes. Time to go outside. I can smell the power. It's time to find out what these batteries are made of. I've got the 1.5 amp hour battery on the blower. I've got the battery fully charged and the blower is on full speed. And of course, I brought my friend the beach ball. Let's see what this battery can do. How many roads must the man walk down before Call him a man How many seas must Guys, that was about 6 minutes sea. and 30 seconds Look at this Where's my stopwatch? There you are It's still going We estimated that that battery should run 7 minutes And you saw the performance As time went along dropped The ball wasn't as high up So we weren't drawing 12 amps that whole time I think So I feel like those numbers 1.5 amps might be a little overestimated Let's try the big daddy right here, the oh, six amp hour battery. Sleep in the sand. How many times must the cannonballs fly before they are forever banned? The answer, my friend, is blowing in the wind. That was a lot of waiting, but it turns out that the six amp hour battery was able to power the power of the blower for about 26 minutes. Now my calculations were that it should have been able to run the blower at for half hour at 12 amps. And there's no way the last five or 10 minutes of that demo, we were running at 12 amps. It was just a few amps. The ball was kind of just bouncing around here. Moving leaves with that little power would be a challenge. So what do we learn today? All right, guys, it is time for the wrap up. So that demonstration was really insightful. We learned a lot from that. We looked at the math earlier in the video and we saw that the 1.5 amp hour battery should have run my blower for seven minutes at 12 amps. The other thing that we didn't do the math for, but I'll tell you what it is right now. This is the brand new six amp hour battery from Ryobi. And this should have been able to power the blower for half hour. And in both cases, they ran about 25% less than the what the math told us they should run. The problem is you saw that the blower really wasn't pushing as much air as you'd expect it to, so I'd say about half of that runtime was useful and was at 12 amps, and the latter part of the uh, video was less than 12 amps. So the math tells us that Ryobi is overestimating the power on these batteries by between 25 and 50%, which is significant. So the Ryobi tools and the Ryobi platform is great for someone who has a really small property and doesn't need a lot of power and doesn't need a lot of runtime. So let me give you the summary. This particular unit, the Ryobi 18 One Plus blower with the four amp hour battery costs about $120. For another $50 more and sometimes less, you can get into a platform that's gonna have a lot more power and a lot more runtime. I would recommend spending a few extra bucks. Don't get caught up in the marketing hype here of these batteries and get yourself something that will give you enough power and performance to get your job done. Anyway, that's it for now. Please like this video, subscribe to my channel, make sure you leave a comment below. I'd love to hear what you've got to say. Make sure you hit that bell so you get all the notifications and I'll see you guys around real soon.
and pretend that he just doesn't see the answer my friend is blowing in the wind the answer is blowing 